Hello friends, I'm Dragonite and welcome to another one of these free games here. Demo thingamajig for winter Christmas with Steam. So this one is called Wooden Nickel. And it seems actually quite interesting. This is by Brain and Brain. A Quiet Adventure by Brain and Brain. A Quiet Adventure, okay. I guess I should be a little bit more quieter, shouldn't I? Ouch. Please don't require a controller. Well, trains aren't very quiet, but you know. That's besides the point. September 2nd, 1895. Basically, a hundred years before my birthday. 101 years. And 17 days. <clears throat> a stranger arrived in Wood Stranger arrived in Wooden Nickel today from the far reach of the East Coast with a dead Delonte for one week. He weighs a southbound train resolved to try his fortune in those in hospital balance. There's no others did alright. Though no others did all did a light before the train's departure, the editors of this paper are confident in the future consequence of our great town. I could not read, I'm sorry. Oh the stately hotel, luxury rooms and dining centrally located. Good cooking, boarding house. Oh! No final lodgings of the territory. Rooms comfortably furnished in peaceful east end location. Let's go there. No finer place to lodge. Shepherd house. Early morning. Ooh. Can I run? Nope. Just looks like I'm walking around with my hands in my pockets all the time. morning, welcome to the Shepherd House. The woman exudes warmth and comfort, a feeling that is accentuated by the aroma of hot coffee drifting through the open door. You need a place to stay? Just five dollars a week, meals included. That sound okay? Yep, we shall accept offer. She hands over a warm key. You're in room three up the stairs and second floor on the left. Hope to see you at dinner. Alrighty. Early morning. Don't know what to do with that. Ooh. Vibrant flower adds, a rustic, adds to the rustic cheer of the room while a time worm volume provides ample reading material. Book is Meditations. Read book. Marcus Aurelius. That name sounds familiar to me. From my grandfather verse, I learned good morals the government of my temper. Uh, from the reputation and remembrance of my father, modesty, and a manly character. From my mother, piety and beneficence. And abstinence, not only from evil deeds, but even from evil thoughts, and further simplicity in my way of living, far removed from the habits of the rich, from a great grandfather, to not to have frequented public schools, and to have had good teachers at home, and to know that on such things, I managed to spend liberally from my governor to be neither of the green nor the blue party at games. Okay. Enough of the book. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Uh, trial period is currently progress. Start a new trial subscription. Wait, what? Okay, this book is taking a very long time. Is it possible to skip it? I don't really have time to read all this right now. I read quite slowly. Oh god. Oh my god, book four. Okay, I'm back. Screw the book. I'm not reading that right now. I don't have time to read 1,600 books. Or is that the whole point of it? Is the book the whole point? The one who offers a view of the backyard and its animal inhabitants, two cows, graves, and a small corral. All chickens run about aimlessly. Ah, there we go. It wasn't required. Okay, good. Thank God. I would have felt terrible. <clears throat> uh, okay, forest plague by lawless rabble, pristine ponderosa, pine covered hillsides, okay. Sheriff denounces suspected cattle rustlers, thunderbird found by a local rancher. Hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to, okay, so judge deliberates rustling. Well, let's go here, I guess. I don't know what that means, but okay. Let's go to Main Street, I guess. Early morning, still. What's this? An oily voice speaks from behind small dusty wagon. Well, now what can I do for you? Oh, snake oil size is great. Nothing. Screw you. Darn it, I guess I have to talk to you, don't I? 
Okay, well, let's talk to this friend. The man's gone. Is, is gone with a silk waistcoat and quick eyes. Dust seems to settle everywhere with a sleek hair combed whitely over his head. It gives an accent. Elegant blow, or whatever, something. Elegant glow. Handy is the name. Gestures grandly to the ornate sign that hangs behind him. Medicine show, it seems. Wonder of the West. Pity you've missed my demonstration, but for assistance, such discernment as yourself, this is voice lowers. Confidingly, certain allowances might be made. From somewhere in his space, he produces an unmarked glass vial and a small tin that holds two white capsules. His smile widens. Well, now, which will it be? Drink vial, small capsules. Oh, fr oh, oh, god. Ugh. This is not a good idea, either of them. Man watches intently, smiling and wavering. There's length of silence. Is he waiting? Finally, he nods. Good, good. Without explanation, the man turns to close up his wagon. Then, one's on the house, he calls over his shoulder, seeing as how you're still with us. Returning, he offers a hand. Sure glad you stopped by, since something smiles his back. Sure glad. I don't think that was such a good thing. Courtroom. What is this? The platoon has been empty while light glints off the liquid. Ugh. What am I kicking it? What, just slapping it like in the moving game? Large man chews as well as you must have drawn, newcomer. Rather than just an hour ago, he takes another bite of his bread and cheese. Verdict is not guilty, of course. There was only circumstantial evidence. My opinion certainly matters less than the letter of the law, wouldn't you agree? He smiles insincerely. I hope you enjoy your stay in Wood Nickel. I work hard to run a fair town despite the tiresome sheriff and his meddling. He checks his beautiful gold pocket watch. My, that late already. The parcel should have arrived at the rail depot by now, but I have business to attend to at home and I mustn't be late. Well, so sad for you. Would you be so kind as to retrieve it for me? Sure, why not? Smell is somehow vaguely sickening. You have my appreciation. The parcel could be delivered to the hotel. I keep several rooms there. Great. For your trouble, a word of advice. Take care around the sheriff. He has a bit of habit taking the law into his own hands when I assure you it is quite safe in mine. Are you sure? Railroad Depot. No, oh, it's just morning, not early morning now. The tenant looks to be a man of 30 who sleeves the world for work. Hey, friend, saw you get off the train this morning. Afraid there won't be a southern southbound train for, for a fortnight. At the mention of the judge, his expression sours. Yeah, his parcel arrived just a moment. All yours. Hope you can manage. The heavy crate will require great effort to transport back to town. Open crate or deliver to hotel? I kind of want to open it. Inside is a confusing storm of items. Gunpowder, ammunition, blankets sit next to silk handkerchiefs, bottles of imported cologne, and a handsome bowler hat. Very odd. Okay, well, uh, let's just close that back up and pretend I didn't open it, shall we? Hello. Young woman jumps as a heavy crate on the floor. That's for the judge. She smells knowingly, then turns to buy, find a bellhop, preferably a strong one. R1. I don't know what R1 is. I... What is R1? Okay, well, I guess that's where I end this one because I can't do anything more with that. I don't know what R1 is and I don't have a controller, so cluck me, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I apologize uh, for that. That one, that that game was honestly uh, one of the ones that I was most excited to see and to play and everything because it seemed it seemed the most interesting, like style-wise and everything. Um, but unfortunately, um, it seems like a controller is actually required for it because I don't know what the hell an R1 button is on the keyboard. There is no R1 on there, and I don't know how to map it because the only joystick controls the, the I can remap my Razer Tartarus uh, keypad thing here, and I can remap it to joystick controls as well, um, but it goes based on numbers. Literally 01, 02, 03, 04, all the way up to like 22 or something like that. So I have no clue what R1 is. It would be much more helpful if that allowed R1 or things like that instead. You know, A, B, X, Y, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, bye-bye, God bless, Merry Christmas, keep calm and keep dragging on. See you guys in the next one very soon.